it's a responsibility for me to invite people to this wonderful development convention of the Com people. So I'm inviting all of you, all the youths out there, to come and join us to support development in Com. And I would like to invite all my former Peace Corps volunteers to New York for the next great Com convention. It is my singular pleasure to invite you to please join us for their four Com convention in June. I would like to invite all of you to New York for the Com convention on June 21st. We have a, a convention in New York. We have a, a convention coming up and uh, on June 20th through the 23rd. I would like to invite all of you to come join us in a convention that is coming up in June. I would like to invite you to the AFOCOM annual convention in New York. I want to seize this opportunity to invite you all to join us come June 21st to the 23rd. Hi, my name is Kirsten Awa. My name is Ngo Nkwain. Hi, my name is Judith Feinbaum. My name is uh, Nelson Ngo. My name is Bridget Mbunayo. My name is Rita Sandingham. My name is Imelda Nkwain. My name is Irene Joakum. My name is Maureen Joakum. My name is Fred Tala. I'm Professor Sandingham on retirement after serving for 40 years in the University of Yaoundé, occupying all the posts you can do in the university right to that of the Vice Chancellor. I work for the United Nations in New York. I'm a professor at the University of Bridgeport in Connecticut. I'm a nurse in Delaware. I'm the Secretary General of the National Afroacom. I'm new here in New York. I've just been here for two months from England. The convention in Connecticut, which was hosted by New York actually, and this one coming for the second time, you know, a return match, you know how we have prepared for it. Boy, anybody who will miss the convention in New York, you know, New York, the capital of the world. You know, it's not the capital of America, it's the capital of the world. And so if you miss, and in fact, there are some special people we intend to invite right back from Cameroon. I don't want to announce yet, but anybody who will miss this convention will regret for life. I would like for you to know that the convention is about development and development is a loaded word um, something that we have been debating for a long time development is first and foremost uh, a people deciding to develop themselves what builds a nation is its people and I'd like to reassure everyone that the calm people if you're looking for a hard-working community a hard-working set of people that have made up their minds to develop it is the calm people my experience in Cameroon I think that I got more out of my experience in Cameroon than they got out of me. This convention, which you call the COM Convention, is the COM Development Convention and becomes a responsibility for every individual from that area to intervene. Just like uh, Professor Sondengam said, it's a responsibility for us, like the youths, to actually promote development back in Cameroon or back in COM. The people of Cameroon are great. They're smart, they're kind, I mean, say trivia. Your effort, whatever effort you make in that kind of context, is going to be absolutely more productive than uh, if, if people are, are, aren't willing to, um, to develop themselves. There's a whole lot to be done, and we have a long way to go. So this is a particular personal invitation for somebody from that area. I think it's extremely important that the kids, we help develop those that are back home, develop them in, in, I mean, assist them whatever way we can. The third goal of Peace Corps was always to bring the message back home. And I think it is important for us who have benefited as Peace Corps volunteers to come and share and to help with the development of the United States and the countries we served. We all know how uh, people struggle back home. If you visit some of the health centers back at home, you realize that they lack so many medical uh, equipment. We are in so much need of infrastructures that foster good health through sanitation and hygiene. Uh, some of the schools don't even have good toilets. Our dollar is gonna go and it's gonna make a big difference uh, 
back home and it's going to help our brothers and sisters in one way or another. And believe me, whatever little contribution you, do, you, you provide over here, it's going to play a big role back home from building schools to building toilets to whatever it is that we do. Your widow's might could uh, help. So we can assist the underserved population of the people of Com. And we will be very grateful to have you all come and help support us in this uh, good course. With your help, I think we would be able to meet that goal of reducing the spread of infectious diseases in our homeland. From the experience of the Forcom organization in America, we are very certain and we are proud that people back home are making the kind of effort they are making. It's absolutely crucial and with any kind of help that can be offered, this is going to be a huge boost and incentive to what they are doing. During this convention, my question that I would like everybody to answer is what can you do and what have you done for your community become community? We actually want you to come participate and uh, donate so we can um, carry out projects back at home. That is the only way we can go through in order to develop our area. Personal intervention and responsibility. And we have a track record of really doing good things and the people back home, believe me, they appreciate their one dollar. So whatever you can offer us, it's going to be great. There will be lots and lots of surprises. It's going to be a two-day jamboree. I invite you guys to come. Fun, filled, energetic. From what I've seen through the organization in the meeting, there's going to be a lot of activities. Just come, have fun, youthful life, everything that New York has to offer. So come and it will be good. It is going to be the year's highlight in the Forcom activities in the United States. It's going to be youthful and it's going to be great. I invite you to come. Oh boy, yeah, you know, uh, those who are above 50 are letting the youth really run this one for this uh, year. Oh gosh, uh, it's gonna be crazy. Just come prepared for lots and lots and lots of two days non sleep. I promise you lots and lots of fun. And for another thing that has never happened before, Com has been lacking that branch, the army branch that will protect us, and we call it Njong, Njong Kong. I happen to be referred to, don't ask me how, to be referred to as the Bonjong of America. Please, for the church and all others who understand the meaning of Njong and what Njong can do for the Kong people, I invite you, do not forget your gun, but watch out the type of gun you are bringing anyway. And uh, you are caught last, Neveu for Nova, not so. Njong, for the first time, will show up in the uh, uh, New York Convention. What National Geographic have been showing you, you should come see it live and have fun. It will be an honor to have you here. No church, no church, the House of the Elders, for those who do not understand what I'm saying, will be on Thursday the 20th. Please come. Friday night is traditional night. We have all the nice tradition from come. We would like to invite you guys to come and take a look and see what we have in store in New York City. Some of you must have heard about the forecom that was in New York Museum. You should come see the people who have that culture, who had that forecom you had in the museum in New York. Besides the Statue of Liberty, we also have a forecom. And you probably know what a forecom means to New York City. Come and we'll tell you the story of a forecom, the journey of a forecom from come, like come, to New York, the Big Apple. Gasimbena, Yigvi, how are you? I'm in New York, I'm a fighting a war, Kanarusa, Bum Kate. You see, where you've been, religion is there? I found one there, Bum, Aule. To Kunti, you've been going to go into your to Kunta, Yigvi, which I'm Kaulumfang. I want you to set aside this particular period 
for relaxation and enjoyment. Come and see the rich culture of Kong people. So please join us. As I said, you will never regret when you come to the Kong Convention in New York. I would like to see you there. See you all in June.